In our video explain that you only have protection if the copyright holder take action. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Hi, welcome, welcome to this series of videos about copyright in the USA. In this series of videos, I will explain how copyright works in the USA. If you have questions about this, just go on the Discord and ask me directly. If you're new to this channel and you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. Let's begin. Let's look at the question for today. The question is, when is my work protected? It may seem like a simple question, but if you look at the law, you need to look at certain kind of things. But keep in mind, when is your work protected? As soon as you meet the requirements. Let's go to the drawing board. I'm going to describe the situation and then we're going to look at the law and see what they're going to say about it. So let's go to the law. As you can see, this is the law. In order for you to explain how this works and where you can find the rules and why you can download it. So I'm not going to talk about this in this video. First thing first, when you talk about copyright, you need to look at uh, chapter three, duration of copyright. It's important because we need to look at three this article this is important we're going to look into that but first i'm going to describe the situation so you can understand what we are going to talk about and then we're going to look at this part and this part what they're saying so this is a drawing board and when you need to remember is when you have a uh, copyright situation it doesn't matter if you create copyright or it doesn't matter if you use the copyright to someone else you always have three person so you always have three things so you have a you have B and you have C. A is the copyright work itself. B is the copyright holder. So CH, I explained it in another video. And C is the other person that wants to use this right. Simple, right? So C can use the right if you get permission or you can use it without permission. Yeah, so without permission, with permission. The thing is, you want to know when you create something when it's protected as soon as you meet the requirements of copyright in order for you to explain what the requirements of copyright is but just keep in mind when you meet the requirement of copyright so you create something and you meet the requirement of copyright you have copyright the thing is it doesn't mean it's automatic protected because sometimes you have copyright on something but people don't take action so let's say you have copyright on something and you do not take action because you don't think it's necessary or you think the other person doesn't have enough money to pay you back you understand what i mean so protection i also explained this in another video in another video I explained that you only have protection if the copyright holder take action if it doesn't take action then you don't have protection if you have a right and you do not use it there's no protection so when it's protected as soon as you have copyright you have the right to protect it as soon as you meet the requirement you have the right to protect it what's the right that you have in our video I also explain you have the right to make it public and you have the right to, um, to reproduce it two rights these are exclusive right only you can do that it's not like someone else can do that no only you can do that as soon as you meet the requirements you have copyright on it what does the law say about this before we go into that, just keep in mind, if someone else wants to use your work and you meet the requirements of copyright, they need to get permission. If they don't get permission, you can go after them. When you go after them, then you're protecting your copyright. If you don't go after them, you're not doing anything. It's not like it's protected. Keep that in mind. So if you look at the law here, they're saying a bunch of things, but this is important. Duration of copyright work created on or after January the 1st, 1978. Simple, right? So if you create a work after this date, and if you create it today, you are after this date, then you have copyright. You see here, they explain it in this video, in this article. So this is important. Copyright in work created on or after January the 1st, 1978, substands for its creation and except as provide by the following subsection and the rules the form of them consisting of the life of the author for 70 years after the author's death so technically when you create something you have copyright on it and that right exists until you die so this is you you have copyright on it 
let's say you die 70 years after then you don't have copyright anymore so 70 years after you die you don't have copyright so what happened with the rights of your work it will go to the public domain that means everyone can use it but it can only apply when the copyright holder die and 70 years after keep that in mind so when you meet the requirements of copyright and you make something today you have copyright but sometimes you have works that were created before january the first 1978 and here you find the rules about that i'm not going to discuss that in depth because the question is when is my work protected the work is protected as soon as you take action when can you take action as soon as you meet the requirement of copyright this is just to show you when you have copyright how long does copyright last as you can see 70 years after the copyright holder died the copyright holder or family still have the right to take action so 70 years after here you can find the rules about that in another video i explain what the requirements are of, um, of copyright if you have questions about those things just look at the video or just go on the discord and ask me directly so let's recap when we look at the question when is copyright protected you need to make sure that you meet the requirement of copyright if you do not meet the requirement of copyright you don't have copyright but when you meet the requirement of copyright and someone uses the copyright without permission and you don't take action you're not protecting anything your copyright is not protected as soon as you take action as soon as you use your rights then you are protecting your your copyright work if you do not do that then nothing is protected so this question may seem simple but just remember if you want to protect something it always depends on your action as a copyright holder so if you like this kind of content and you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe if you have question about this content just go on discord and ask me directly and i will see you in the next video i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and belief know what i want so i'll take it on i've made mistakes but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be